Hey everybody, it's Green Eagle Zero One here today, and I'm um, sorry I haven't been doing many videos as of late, but I'm back. I'm gonna start doing hopefully continuous videos weekly, well maybe not weekly, but hopefully weekly on uh, ROM reviews, uh, unboxings maybe, and just stuff like that. So today I'm gonna be doing a review on the Xylon ROM for I think that's how you pronounce it, Xylon ROM for the Galaxy Nexus and uh, this ROM is BOSS. So pretty much the Galaxy Nexus is a BOSS. It is beautiful, sleek, and absolutely amazing. Although it's a year old, people still consider it one of the best phones out there. So for such an awesome phone, you truly need an awesome ROM so that you can use uh, you know, a phone of such amazingness to its full potential. Anyways, so this ROM that I got, it's called uh, Xylon ROM. Uh, according to what the developers say, it's a combination of AOKP and Cyanogemon, which are like the top two ROMs, I personally think, for customization out there. So it's gotta be good. Anyways, um, as you can see, it's running Android 4.2 um, Jelly Bean. Uh, you have the option to, of course, go to your camera, but then also to put practically any widget you want on the quick widget home screen thing. Anyway, so let's go back. And as you can see, you also have the quick setting thing. And if you want to go to Google now, you can go to Google now. Um, let's unlock it. Focus it a little bit. Okay. Uh, something that's amazing about this ROM is that it's really smooth. Um, other than that, of course, it's customizations, which I'll show you right now in a little bit. Um, let's go here. System. Nope. No. 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 Settings. System settings. Okay. So you got the X Y settings. Okay, you got general UI, uh, you can change LCD density, custom carrier label, uh, all that stuff, choose notification background, blah, 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 blah. You also have your power menu, which I don't really care much about. Navigation bar is nice. You have um, your menu, menu location. Of course, as always, menu visibility, how many buttons you have in your navigation right there um, let's see the animation and go above. as always this is all standard and quite a bit of ROMs what's cool though is the navigation where are you da, da, da. you have the number of navring targets so like for example this right here it's uh pretty much instead of just Google now you can have like a quick sign to I don't know camera or torch or whatever so really cool and um where are you okay here background style now the this rom gives you the ability to um pra pra uh come on practically make the background of your navigation bar transparent now what i've noticed which is kind of weird is that well you can't really see on this wallpaper but with the other wallpaper it was transparent for some reason, yeah, it is transparent. Like the top, you can see it's transparent, the top navigation bar. But as for the navigation bar, it was transparent. For some reason, when you open an application, it doesn't stay that way. I don't know why, it's weird, but other than that, it's still a pretty awesome ROM. Okay, so continue on with the settings. Uh, cancel, back, nope, not back. Uh, let's see, signal, okay, clock. You have your clock style. No, wait, yeah, day week, all that stuff. Um, signal, blah, 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 you can change that too. Other, you have your battery and other stuff. Uh, as you can see, whole bunch of battery icons you can choose from. Um, you can also do, okay, the quick toggles is really cool. Usually this is only black. What's really cool in this ROM is that you can make it white, which is awesome. So it's right here, holo. You can make it holo dark, so it's black. 
or you can make it whole light. So it is light. Anyways, uh, why did I press home? Aside from that, you also have, let's go back, uh, okay, I'll show you the others. And then you have the lock screen where you could uh, change background, uh, wallpaper from a different wallpaper that you already have, uh, battery status, all that. Allow unlimited widgets and allow all widgets, which is what I was talking about before. Um, let's see. Also, you have okay performance, really cool. Uh, well, it's you know kind of standard with mini ROMs. You have the processor. How fast you know it's uh, you know you can overclock and all that goodness. So you, you could go here 700 minimum 1200. Max, of course, you can overclock it more. I'm gonna overclock it 1.35, anyways, and a whole bunch of other stuff. Themes, of course, and this is the cool part if you go in advanced and you look at the bottom, you can overclock your GPU. I've overclocked to the highest it can. So that's really cool. I don't think I've seen that in many other ROMs, but yeah, you can overclock your GPU, which I think is awesome. And other than that, it's uh, yeah, and that it's a uh, pretty stock. Um, I mean, there's tons of settings, so I just went over like the pretty big ones, but uh, yeah, really fast ROM. As you can see, practically no lag. Um, uh, I don't know if you saw before. Let's see. Uh, open application. No, don't look at my account. Uh, okay, I'll pick up application. Okay, so now if you look at your recents, you have a kill all button, which is pretty cool. It doesn't tell you RAM, but you have an, a kill all uh, button. Yeah. And if you go also, for example, you open up uh, an application, right? And you press multitasking, application shrinks. It becomes part of it, and you just want to end it immediately. You just swipe, and it takes you to home screen. So that's pretty cool. Um, for some reason, the voice search now works, which is awesome. Okay, that's weird. <laughs> Last time I tried, it did not work, but then I got an update for it. I must have fixed it. So that's cool. Now it works. Anyways. Other than that, uh, it's a pretty stock ROM, but you know, with themes and everything, you can really customize it to whatever the heck you want. So it's pretty darn awesome. Um, thank you guys for watching. I really recommend this ROM. I think it's the best ROM right now. I mean, it gives you the options of AOKP and Sound Engine Mod. And uh, yeah, thank you for watching. Please rate, comment subscribe and thumbs up and all that goodness that youtubers like so thank you guys stay tuned for more videos and yeah see ya